Iranians once again risked their own safety and took to the streets on the fifth day of anger aimed at their government. Despite trying to block internet messaging apps, activists are still posting videos online. While difficult to verify, this post appears to come from the city of Tiyusirkan, southwest of the capital Tehran. It's believed six of the victims died there. But the Iranian regime paints a different picture, blaming the violence on what they call armed protesters who shot at a local headquarters of the security forces. One police officer was killed, according to an official. Despite warnings of a crackdown, Iranians continue to engage in remarkable acts of protest in a country where dissent is rarely tolerated. Sorry, sorry. A friend says, hurry, hurry, as this woman scrawls death to the dictator. While some risk their lives, burning a poster featuring Iran's late supreme leader, Ayatollah Khomeini. In Tehran, one man yells, topple it as this crowd confronts a vehicle belonging to the powerful Revolutionary Guard. Tonight, Iran state television quoted the president, Hassan Rouhani, who accused Iran's enemies of taking revenge by provoking the protesters. A tactic that does not surprise this Iranian-born author who now lives in Ontario. I mean, the government of Iran has this amazing ability to rally the people against the enemy without so that it can distract them from the enemy within. But these protesters have shown resolve, standing up to some of the country's most feared security forces, knowing that the world is watching. Derek Stoffel, CBC News, Tel Aviv.